This video is about using the mass of a reactant to find the mass of a product and using molar ratios and chemical equations. The question is, how many grams of carbon dioxide are made when 100 grams of ethane is reacted with excess oxygen? Okay, so the first thing we need to do is actually find the moles because our chemical equation is telling us about moles. 2 moles of ethane, 7 moles of oxygen, 4 moles of carbon dioxide and 6 moles of water. We've got 100 grams, so we need moles. So we're going to find the moles of the ethane by using m on m, the mass on the molar mass. So we've got moles is equal to, we've got 100 grams and we're going to divide it by the molar mass. So going back to our periodic table, we've got the molar mass of carbon and hydrogen. So coming back, that's going to be two lots of carbon, so two lots of 12, and six lots of hydrogen, so six lots of one. And this is now 3.33 moles. This is our moles of ethane. Now we need to use our molar ratios. So if we take the moles of ethane, the C2H6, and compare that to the moles of carbon dioxide. Now the reason why we're comparing it to carbon dioxide is because the question asked for how much carbon dioxide is made. So looking at the equation, the ratio is 2 is to 4, or 1 is to 2. If we write ratios in the simplest form, that means that for every mole of methane, we will get 2 moles of carbon dioxide. Now we don't have 1 mole of ethane, we have 3.3. So our moles of carbon dioxide is going to be twice that of our moles of ethane. So it's going to be 2 lots of 3.33, so 6.66 moles. So now we know how much moles of carbon dioxide is going to be made from 100 grams of ethane. But the question actually asked us for the mass. So we need to convert that back. So using the same formula, our moles of carbon dioxide is mass on molar mass. This time we know the moles. We know that this is 6.66. And we don't know the mass. That's what we're trying to find out. And we get the molar mass. So go back to the periodic table, we remember that carbon is 12, oxygen is 16. So our molar mass is 12 plus the two lots of 16. So using our little bit of algebra, we're going to multiply that out. We've got the 6.66 by the molar mass. And that gives us our mass of carbon dioxide, using that subscript there, just to let the person who's marking it know what it is. That's about 293 grams. And that's how you use the concept of molar ratios in order to take a mass of a reactant and find a mass of a product. It's all about using that ratio.